Welcome to Mr. G Plays, where we find that the wheels of the bus go sideways. All right, good morning, Wasteland, Mr. G. Bring myself the coffee. And you the cross out, and today we are going to talk about the new wheel we're coming in to get in cross out. Not the negative camber wheel, the one we're all excited about. The omnidirectional wheel. Now, um, big thank you to go to hello for doing the intro to this video, but also helping me break down the different kinds of omni wheels that there are. Um, there's spherical omnidirectional wheels. There's universal omnidirectional wheels, and that's where the the wheels on side inside the wheel are at a 90 degree angle. Uh, and the wheel that we're going to be getting in cross out is what's called a mechanum wheel. So. Where a universal wheel has a 90 degree offset, those are typically designed to be used with uh, three wheels in a triangular three wheeler format. Um, Mechanum wheels, or Mechanum wheels, sorry, um, they're offset by a 45 degree angle. These are usually heavier wheels. Uh, they can sometimes struggle with traction, um, but you don't need to turn these wheels. Um, they're gonna be able to strafe or move uh, in a really interesting way. So as the front left and back right wheels spin forward, and the front left and back left wheels spin backwards, that makes the vehicle strafe left or right. So just depending on the rotation of which wheels are rotating, that's going to give you your strafing. Um, if you were to rotate the front left and the back right wheels forward again, dependent on the mounting direction, that would make the vehicle move forward in a left or right diagonal way. So these are really, really interesting wheels. Let's take a look at them in, in action right here on an actual forklift uh, in real life. Um, so really, really, these are cool wheels. So technically, just a reminder, we're getting mechanum wheels. We're not getting spherical omnidirectional wheels, and we're not getting what are called universal wheels. These bad boys are mechanum wheels. Um, and you see a lot of these used in, you know, robot wars or radio controlled cars, not so often on full size vehicles yet. Um, they are very complicated to make. They do have traction issues. They can be very heavy as well. Um, but if you guys like this video, leave me comments if I messed anything up in the comments. But if you like this kind of video and you want me to cover negative camber tires and lift, etc., and try and break that down do let me know in the comments and well let me know by liking this video if you like these instructional mr g ones let me know uh and i'm gonna catch you guys later it's sunday i'm gonna drink coffee read a book you guys be good stay safe mr g out <laughs>